Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Moltrap here. Game four, the losers match of group ten. Zerg versus Zerg, Hune versus Sexry. I uh, know it won't matter or be visible at all to anyone, but okay, we got Hune being highlighted, so whoa, whoa, whoa what's going on here? Okay, so Hune is going to be the red Zerg in the top right hand corner. And then it means Saxory that is going to be the green Zerg in the bottom left hand corner. What I was going to say is I know it's... I realized that I was supposed to run and I was supposed to pick something up at work today for a job that I'm... something I'm doing tomorrow for them. And uh, I forgot about it. And I suddenly looked at the clock at the end of that last commentary and I said, Oh yeah, it's 5.20. Oh yeah, the office closes at 5. Crap! So I drove out there and luckily someone was still working after hours. So I was able to pick stuff up. Otherwise, I probably would have been in trouble. But anyway, so uh, I'm back now. And doing the losers match. I'm probably going to favor Hune in this match just because um, you know, Saxory, he played pretty well. He just kind of got beat by a little bit of a timing attack there by Stork. Very clever move. Um, did not have time to react enough to the goons when he saw that they were on their way. Um, very clever build by Stork, by the way. Um, but uh, he still just has a lot more experience. He's going to be the favorite here. I don't know. Hopefully we'll see Saxory actually play well and be a new um, Zerg player that we can look forward to watching. Uh, because Hewn, frankly, is a little bit lackluster a lot of the time, so it'd be nice to have someone different on the scene there. Um, anyway, it looks like Saxory is going for a 12 hatchery build. Um, whereas... I believe Hune just got a pool down, I think. Yeah, he got a pool and gas, so he's going 12 pool, 11 gas is what it looks like. So, this is, well, if May, if he gets for, if he, if he gets his stuff going pretty quickly, then Saxory is still going to be in a good position. He needs to just get his pool down pretty quick, though, and hopefully his gas, well, definitely he's going to get his gas down afterwards. Um, he's going to have to deal with some early pressure here <clears throat> from Zerglings. It is a relatively... Well, it's a pretty decently big map, so it's going to take a while for those Zerglings to get over to his base. But he's an entire pool behind. He's getting his pool down. Saxory is getting his spawning pool down when uh, Hune's spawning pool was about 3 quarters, 7 eighths done. So it's going to be pretty close there. He's, yeah, so he's going to have his pool popping right as those Zerglings are running out. So actually, yeah, he's going to be fine. Uh, and what this does is going to give a little bit of an advantage to Saxory. Um, he's, he would have gotten a couple more drones out. He's going to get that hatchery up a little bit earlier. And so um, he's going to take a little bit of an advantage there. Uh, Hune is going to spot this. He's, now he has to send those Zerglings out, though, to do some pressure. Um, he can't just let Saxory just get away with being a little bit later. But it's probably he's probably not going to be able to get those Zerglings there quite in time. He may be able to put a little bit of pressure on... I don't think he will, though. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think this is going to be... This is pretty bad for um, for Hune. Saxory has a, has a big advantage here. It is going to come down to Micro. And Hune decides not to attack and put pressure on. Uh, I guess he realized, uh, as I did, that he wasn't going to be able to get his Zerglings there in time to do any good. So he's just going to hold back and hold that ramp. It's kind of a weird position to put his Zerglings at. Um... I would expect him to at least run up there and you know put a little bit of pressure on, but what he's probably done is switched over. He's being a little bit defensive now, in a way, and uh, he's built, um, morphing more drones instead of zerglings for a few minutes, uh, well for a few seconds, just to just to get a few more drones out so he can try and catch up because he knows that Saxory has a couple extra drones on him and now he's gonna yeah I was wondering it's kind of a weird position to put your lings in the middle there. I guess he was hoping for kind of a lucky. Snipe, where if, if um, Saxory had sent his Zerglings out that ra that route and had not expected him to be there, he could have gotten a few free uh, Zergling kills from a superior positioning. Uh, and now he's got the Sun Colony up. Uh, Hune needs to get his Zerglings in there. He does. Um, but, yeah, with the Sun Colony, he's lacking a few Zerglings, but the Sun Colony is going to make up for it. So nicely done by Hune. Very, very smartly played, um, realizing he was at the disadvantage, squeezing in a few drones, and going for the sunken colony to make up for that disadvantage so he could afford to squeeze in those drones. Saxory now getting a lot of Zerglings though. Hugh needs to be very, very careful. He's got his Spire going, but he needs to be, watch out. There's a lot of Zerglings there. 
Hewn spots it with his Overlord. He's probably morphing some more. Yeah, we got a few more popping out there. Um, I think he needs a few more Zerglings, though, to hold this off. Here he goes in. He does have a few more than I saw. And there he goes. He's falling back. Nicely done. Keeping those Zerglings in that gap. And a few of Saxory's Zerglings are running around in the back. Um, not getting hits in. And so Hewn comes up with a huge advantage. Hewn, <laughs> look at this. Hewn popping a bunch more Zerglings. That was a big mistake by Saxory. Um, well, it wasn't really... I won't, shouldn't call it a mistake... It just didn't end up doing, going well for him. It was more uh, more so well played by Hewn. He was able to use that gap there, and by drawing Saxory Zerglings in and, and, and attacking the Zerglings at just the perfect moment, he made it so that Saxory Zerglings were, were squeezed into that small choke between the Sunken Colony and the edge of the map. And that forced uh, several of his Zerglings to be kind of running around in the back, not able to attack. And so basically it eliminated... Uh, you know his zergling advantage but instead of having more zerglings he had the same amount of zerglings battling the same amount of zerglings and so it worked out a lot for, better for him and now wow and now a lot of zerglings out here for hewn he could win the game with these zerglings here even if saxory has been pumping out all zerglings so has hewn and hewn had about a dozen extra zerglings so here he comes in he's going to go straight for the kill he's got mutas incoming as well both players have Mews popping out right now, but there are a ton of Zerglings. And good point, good uh, move by Saxory trying to hold his ramp, but he's going to get surrounded by Lings on the ramp and off. A little bit bad timing by Hewn. If he'd gone in with Zerglings on both sides of the ramp at the exact same time, it would have been a lot better for him. Um, but he's also got some Muta's advantage now as well. Those Zerglings um, are not as many survived as I as could have, as uh, should have. And so... Um, He's just going to have to run them around, so both players picking off each other's Zerglings with their Mutas now. But um, Saxory has had to run drones away from his expansion. It looks as if Hewn has a couple more Mutas as well. Uh, I could be wrong about that. And Hewn is mining... So Hewn is mining gas from that second base, and Saxory is not mining gas from that second base. So that means very soon, uh, if he doesn't have more already, Hewn is going to be able to overtake him, overtake Saxory in in uh, mute account. Here comes Saxory is going to try and pick off this Overlord here. Picking off Overlords is a is a actually really strong thing to do. It really, really helps. And he's running in Zerglings behind though, forcing him to come back. Running by that Sunken Colony, forcing uh, Hewn to run all of, his all of his Mutas back into his main base. And his Zerglings are kind of out of position right now. It's going after the drones! His own Zerglings, he's picked off a drone! He's picked off... Never mind, he goes straight for the Zerglings. He's uh, trading Zerglings there, so he only picks off a single drone. Um, I may have picked off two, actually. I think I saw two Blood Splatters there near the Mineral Lines um, that looked like they may have been drones. So he may have gotten two drones there, but it's not as big...